Hi, I'm Dr. Catherine, a GP, and thanks so much for joining me today. Did you know that COVID-19 can give you gut symptoms? Today is one of my Ask the Expert sessions with consultant gastroenterologist, Dr. Gareth Parks, and we'll be talking about what to look out for with COVID-19 gut symptoms. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, like and share. Plus, make sure you watch through to the end to hear his top tips. Gareth, tell us a bit more, please. Well, during the pandemic, certainly in the early phase, uh, in March and April, uh, most of us hospital doctors uh, were looking for signs uh, that we all now probably know about. So that's raised temperature, persistent cough. Uh, and a little later on, we realised that uh, loss of taste and smell might be a sign of coronavirus as well. But we've come to realise that um, there can be other symptoms and a small minority of patients, probably about one in six, will have GI symptoms as well. That might be in combination with some of the more classic symptoms or sometimes, uh, and a bit more rarely, entirely on their own. And those might be things like nausea, vomiting and diarrhoea. So it can look very much like a tummy bug. Uh, and if you do develop symptoms completely out of the blue and you can't really attribute it to, say, uh, someone else being unwell in the family or... Uh, uh, that you've eaten something that you shouldn't have, then you should really think about whether that could be uh, some of the early signs of coronavirus. So if people do get gut symptoms, feeling sick, vomiting and diarrhoea, particularly if it's also associated with a temperature cough and or loss of smell or taste, what can they do to help themselves? Well, whether you've got coronavirus or you've simply got uh, gastroenteritis, you're definitely infectious to other people around you. So. The most obvious thing of all is that you should be staying at home and not going into work during that time. Uh, then you've got to think about, if you do live with other people, how you can best protect them. Uh, so uh, gastroenteritis is, is passed and coronavirus potentially is passed um, uh, through fecal spread, which sounds absolutely revolting and, and slightly is. Um, but uh, if you have got two toilets in the house, then one toilet should just be for you. Uh, and everyone else can use the other toilet. That's a really good way of preventing spread. Uh, obviously, wash your hands all the time. Uh, and if you've got a tummy bug or symptoms of diarrhea and vomiting, then you absolutely shouldn't be preparing food. If you have to share a toilet, then you can still uh, obviously do that with other household members. One of the key things to do is use bleach every time you, you've gone to the loo uh, and make sure that you shut the lid before you flush, because unfortunately, when you flush, you aerosol all those little germs and they spray up into the bathroom and settle on all sorts of horrible places like people's toothbrushes, which are often left out. So that's a really good way of just ensuring that you're the only one in that household who stays unwell and no one else. If you are concerned that this could be uh, coronavirus at all, and I suppose often if you've lost a sense of taste or smell, then you tick one of the boxes on the government guidelines and you should get a coronavirus test uh, they're free, they're really easy to do, uh, and you can either go online or ring 119 uh, to get better advice. Thanks, Gareth. That's really interesting. I hope you found that useful. And if you want to find out more, I've got two other great videos with Gareth. One, to help you get to know your bowel symptoms and to help you spot the signs of possible cancer or inflammation known as colitis, and another on what you can do to help yourself get more good bacteria. In the meantime, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and ring the bell, like, share and comment. I'm Dr. Catherine saying goodbye and keep healthy.